Hey y'all, welcome back to Old Sarge Collects. I hope everybody's doing good. My name is Dan, and this is episode three of the Diamond Stars set. Last week we covered card number six, uh, the player's Max Bishop, and we also covered Lou Fonseca at card number seven. We also covered Joe Vosmick, card number eight. And we finished up with card number 10 of Roy Mahaffey. This week we've got another good lineup of cards. Uh, the first player and, and card being of Dixie Walker. And this card is from 1934. It's an SGC 3.5, although uh, it looks great for a 3.5. Something I love about this card is the red background and sky. I also love the, uh, you know, he's in his backswing, um, so I love the the artistry there with that. The back of this card talks about batting tips, and, and it really talks about being relaxed um, at the plate. So let's talk a little bit about the player. Fred Dixie Walker was born in 1910 in Villa Rica, Georgia. Uh, he comes from a baseball family, and his father's uh, his fa father was the original Dixie Walker, and his uncle, Ernie Walker, they both played in professional baseball during the dead ball era. So Dixie Walker here made his major league debut in 1931 with the New York Yankees, uh, and he was an outfielder. He was with New York until 1936, and then in 1936 he was traded, uh, and he was traded to the Chicago White Sox, and he was with them until 1937. From 1938 to 1939, he was with the Detroit Tigers. And then from 1939 to 1947, he played on the Brooklyn Dodgers. And with the Dodgers, he really blossomed into a star. He was a five-time All-Star. He was the 1944 batting champ and the 1945 National League RBI leader. But unfortunately, uh, Dixie Walker's career took a turn for the worse. Um, and that's because he vocally opposed the, the participation of black baseball players. In and in 1947, while with the Dodgers, he initiated a petition opposing Jackie Robinson joining the team. So um, he then went to Branch Rickey and said, you know, I, I don't want to be on this team anymore. And so Branch Rickey traded him uh, to the Pittsburgh Pirates. And so in 1948, he was traded to the Pittsburgh Pirates and he retired in 1949. And so lastly, uh, Fred Dixie Walker died in 1982 at the age of 71. Another player is card number 13, and the player is George Blayholder. What I like about this card in particular is the yellow sky, and I like the, the red buildings in the background. Um, I especially like the uh, smoke stack that you see with the, the smoke coming up. From the chimney. On the back, uh, it talks about pitching and, and uh, it talks about your control as a pitcher. So uh, George Blayholder was a pitcher. He was born in 1904 in Orange, Orange, California. He made his major league debut in 1925 with the St. Louis Browns. Um, George Blayholder is known for popularizing the slider, and it had been used, you know, by multiple players prior to George Blayholder but not as extensively. So he was with the St. Louis Browns from 1925 to 1935, and then he was traded to the Philadelphia Athletics in 1935 uh, and played one season, and then traded again to Cle the Cleveland Indians and played one season of 1936. And then he went back down to the minors for six years before retiring. Uh, so shortly after he retired, uh, George Blayholder died in 1947 at the age of 43. And the next player, and card number 19, is Van Mungo. And uh, the back of this card talks about batting tips. It talks about the sacrifice, bl uh, sacrifice bunt. Although... Um, Van Mungo was a pitcher. And so the reason why it talks about bunting on the back of the card is because although he was a pitcher, 
he was actually pretty good as a batter as well. And uh, they used him a lot of times to, to do the sacrifice bunt. But uh, there's not really a whole lot about this card that I, I particularly care for. The, the blue is a very deep blue. And, uh, you know, that's a very bright orange. So it's very consistent with the Art Deco style. Um, you know, I guess if I had to pick something, I guess it, the detail of his hair uh, would be, you know, would be one aspect of the card that I like. Uh, so this card is from 1935. It's an SGC5. And here's a little bit about James Francis. I'm sorry. This is a little bit about uh, Van Lingle Mungo. He was born in 1911 in Pageland, South Carolina. He made his Major League debut in 1931 as a pitcher with the uh, Brooklyn Dodgers. He spent nine seasons with Brooklyn before being traded to the Giants in 1942. He spent three seasons uh, with the Giants until he retired in 1945. Van Mungo was known for his combativeness on and off the field, and uh, even so much so that you know some of his teammates um, wrote songs about about just you know how combative he was. Uh, so Van Mungo was also a five-time All-Star, and he was the 1936 National League strikeout leader. And he died in 1985 at the age of 73. And the last player is uh, Shanty Hogan. And just right off the bat, uh, this is my my favorite card in this grouping. And what I really like about this card, aside from the catcher's outfit um, and this in-action pose, but I also like the contrast between the bright, or bright orange and yellow and the dark blue and green in the background uh, with the grandstands in the background. So that's what I really like about this card. Um, and the back of the card talks about batting tips uh, watching the ball. And um, so this player is James Francis Shanty Hogan. He was born in 1906 in Somerville, Massachusetts. He made his major league debut as, an out, as a catcher in 1925 for the Boston Braves. And he played for 13 years and played for the following teams. So he played uh, for the Boston Braves from 1925 to 1927. And then the New York Giants from 1928 to 1932. He went back to the Boston Braves from 1933 to 1935, and he finished up his career with the Washington Senators from 1936 to 1937. So that is the four cards that we're covering today in episode three of the Diamond, Diamond Stars set. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed this, uh, this video. I, tomorrow, I am off to Houston, uh, where I will have the opportunity on Sunday to catch the Astros game with the Angels. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to seeing Shohei Otani and uh, uh, Mike Trout uh, play against my Astros. Hopefully, I'm, I'm rooting for the Astros, but I know it's just going to be a good game either way around. Uh, anyway, I won't be back until late next week, so... Uh, until then, y'all take care, and, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.